Formosa, 100 miles from the Red Chinese mainland, the U.S. bound by treaty to its defense. In the Formosa Strait, Chinese communist aggression centering around Kamoi poses the question of how far the U.S. will go trying to defend the offshore islands. The 125,000 population of the Kamois is witness to weeks of heavy artillery bombardment by red shore guns. Nationalist batteries have been returning the fire, even as they did twice before in 49 and 54 in the face of red attack. It is at sea that the nationalists excel over the Reds with more than three score warships. Reported sunk in an attack on a convoy to Kamoi are 11 communist torpedo boats. In Newport, Rhode Island, directly to the doorstep of the Summer White House, comes this latest crisis in the Far East. Summoned to emergency conference, Secretary of State Dulles to meet with President Eisenhower. Earlier, Mr. Dulles had conferred with the Joint Chiefs of Staff and then talked with the president three times by phone. The Dulles-Eisenhower meeting is followed by a statement in which Red China is solemnly warned by the president that he will not hesitate to commit American armed forces to the defense of the nationalist offshore islands if he finds that necessary to the security of Formosa. Not alarming, but rather giving Beiping a chance to back off is the U.S. stand. Meanwhile, the U.S. 7th Fleet has been steaming to within striking range to prevent invasion of Formosa from the mainland and vice versa. It is stressed the Chinese nationalists under Chiang Kai-shek can handle any present threat to their territory. Help would come only if the defenses proved inadequate. <laughs> 